Alright, what's going on guys? It is Sparks here and today I'm doing a quick video on how to make your Xbox One's IP static. So the reasons for a static IP are, are simple. Your IP needs to stay the same in order for you to do things like port forward or have a better connection to other devices in your house. Uh, because what routers end up doing a lot of the times is they switch that for you. So every time you turn off your device, your IP will refresh. Uh, and that's not good, specifically if you have like ports that you're forwarding. Uh, and since I've done a port forwarding video and I get a lot of questions about, well, I've set my uh, IP to static, the first way I'm going to show you, and it doesn't work, uh, what should I do? So hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will have the gist of how to do this two different ways. The official way, and if that doesn't work, there is another way which I will show you. Um, so the official way is head to your settings, go to network. No, don't do that. Um, and you want to you want to go to advanced settings. Once you're in advanced settings, uh, I, I've said this in my port forwarding video, you want to take down all the information just on the right side there. Not my information, but the ones that are on your console. So whatever is displayed there for you is what you want to take down. Uh, and then you're going to go to um, to the IP settings here. You're going to change them to manual, uh, and you're going to put in your information, um, and then you're going to go back. Do the same thing for your DNS settings and same thing for, I don't think you need to touch alternate MAC address. This is a new thing. Don't worry about that. And uh, so set those up uh, and then leave and it will do this checking connection thing and uh, you're good to go. Um, if that doesn't work and you, let's say it says, uh oh, something doesn't, something went wrong or I'm not sure what the error message will be but it will be something telling you that it doesn't work. That's when we go over to the computer side and we will continue this video so I will be right back. Alright guys I am back and uh, I'm gonna teach you how to set a static IP uh, in a different way this time. This time we're gonna be using the router to reserve an IP address with your DHCP uh, server settings. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to log on to your um, your specific router. So in the case of mine, uh, the IP address for the router is 192.168.1.1. Uh, if it's not that for you, it could be .0.1 as the last two numbers. It could be .0.2 for the last two numbers. It just varies from model and make. Uh, just Look up your, your model number and uh, put in uh, IP address and maybe you'll find something. Uh, but most of the time, the most two common ones are 0.1 and 1.1. So try those first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log on um, to mine. And I screwed up. Uh, but as you guys can see, I have an Asus RT N66U. This is a fairly expensive router, but it's an amazing one. I love it. Um, okay, so we're going to go down here to LAN, local area connection, so or local area network. Uh, and we're going to come here to the DHCP server settings. So we're going to be using the ma enable manual assignment. So we're going to turn that on in the case of me. I'm not sure. Uh, there should be uh, a switch uh, in the case of your router that will allow you to turn yours on. Um, and then just below this, uh, in both our cases, uh, there should be an area where you can either have a drop down menu like mine and select a specific. MAC address. Um, if you don't know the MAC address of your Xbox, turn your Xbox on, go to the network settings, go under advanced and you'll see it there. You're looking for the wired MAC address, not the wireless one. Um, uh, unless if you're wired or if you are wireless, use the wireless MAC address. So one of these MAC addresses somewhere here is the same as it would be the same if I was using it. So in the case of mine, I have mine already set to static using the first method we used. Uh, but just for the purpose of example, you would go ahead and you would add a name if there is an option on your router. Uh, you would add it or you would click any check boxes that would enable this 
uh, to be set in stone and then apply your settings. So now what this does uh, in a, que uh, a quick explanation is it reserves that specific IP address, in the case of mine it would be .1.22, uh, to my specific device. So it's pretty much saying here that the MAC address that is this MAC address is is using this IP address and no other device on my network can use that IP address. This is a great way to set uh, multiple devices on your network to separate IP addresses so they never conflict. Um, this is also a great alternative to the first method. If the first method doesn't work, you can use this or you can just skip the first method in general and go straight to this one. So hopefully this video has been super helpful to you. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. The regular likes, comments, subscribes are always appreciated and I will see you guys later. Peace out.